Hey everyone, so today I have quite the collective haul for you, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump in. I have stuff from a number of places. This is all stuff that I've accumulated over the past month, so hopefully if you see something that you like, you should be able to find it in stores still. Now this is a combination of stuff that I purchased myself and stuff that I have received for my birthday as my birthday was last month. So I think first I'm going to go ahead and just jump in with home decor. Um, I ended up renewing the lease for my apartment, so knowing that I'm going to be here for another year and not just moving in a couple months, I kind of want to make it feel a little bit more homey because I pretty much just have, like, if you guys have seen my apartment tour on my other channel, not much has really changed. I just pretty much have, like, my pictures, like, my artwork hanging up, and that's about it. So I wanted to liven it up a bit since it's spring, especially. I got these four like rose flowers from Michaels and then I got this vase. It was two bucks. It was clear. I spray painted it silver because I really wanted a silver vase and a silver vase that looked just like this at Michaels cost ten bucks. So I went ahead and got the cheap two dollar one and spray painted it myself. So I pretty much just have that sitting on my end table right when you walk in and then something that I have sitting on my bar and I just thought that this was so adorable. Some more fake flowers, like it came in this little container with the little glass jars because I wanted something with smaller jars that I could trim flowers and put them into. So I just have these little flowers in it and the uh, jars and the holder that it's in I think was on sale for 7 or $10 so it wasn't that bad and their flowers aren't that expensive if you go and find, um, find ones that are on sale. So that's it for the home decor. Um, next I'm going to show you three things that I ordered off of Amazon. So if you are interested in any of the stuff that I'm showing you, I will put links for where I got it in the down bar below. So the first thing that I got is kind of a long awaited thing for me is a lipstick holder. And I've been doing research because I wanted one that is tiered. So the third row is, you know, sitting up a little bit higher. So it's easier to tell what's in the back row, so not everything is flat and on the same level. It's a little bit easier to sort of read what the lipsticks are. I think I got this for about $10, maybe $11 or something. It came from China and it shipped pretty fast when I ordered it. I'm going to put this down so it stops like clinking. Basically when I ordered it, the estimate, estimated shipping date was a month and it only took about a week and a half to get to me, which wasn't bad considering it came from a different country. So that's the first thing that I got from Amazon. And the second thing I got, I like am one of those people where I have to use straws for everything I drink, even if it's water, like no matter what it is, I have to drink it with a straw. And part of the reason is because I have super sensitive teeth, so things that are really cold, and I like my water to be like ice cold, really bothers me, and I get really thirsty, and I like to like chug what I'm drinking, so I can only take like little sips at a time if it's really cold. So anyways, I ended up buying these reusable straws. These are like metal or some kind of indestructible, I don't know if it's stainless steel or I forget exactly what this is that it's made out of, but it came in the pack with six of these straws, which is perfect for me because it's a lot better than just going through and throwing away straw every time I want to drink something. So I got this. This was only a couple of bucks. Um, one of the things I was concerned about with drinking water is that it would taste like metal because I've read reviews for certain straws that that was the problem and for the ones that I purchased this is not the case at all and it's nice because it is like a metal material it cools so if it's sitting in a cold drink like when you like the straw is going to be cold so it makes your drink even colder so I like this a lot so again the link for that will be down below and then the last thing I ordered was just a yoga DVD I still need to um test this out and see what it's like but I researched yoga DVDs for quite a while on Amazon because it's something that I'm really interested in starting to get in the practice of. Um, I've taken a yoga class before and I will say with this yoga DVD you kind of do need to be familiar with poses because I've read reviews and they don't go over how to do it. They just say like get in downward dog, transition into the child's pose. So you kind of need to be familiar. So if you've taken at least a couple classes and know what the basic positions are, you should be fine. If you haven't, basically just sit and watch the video through before you do it so you know what the poses are. So this is what it looks like. It is 
uh, flow yoga for beginners. And this was only about five dollars, so that's another reason why I bought it, buying like a cheap workout tape is right up my alley. So again, down bar below for the information on that. And now into the beauty and clothing part of the haul. Um, I think I'm going to save the clothing part for last. So, one thing that I purchased that I opened and used because I just couldn't wait to use this. This is an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. And this is freaking awesome because it's an exfoliator and it's in like a lipstick tube. So I like it because I hate when you have jars and you have to like put your finger in it. And it's just like, I don't like touching stuff because then I feel like I always have to be washing my hands after I use it. So, and my pizza's done. One second. <laughs> So this is like essentially a brown sugar lip scrub, lip scrub in lipstick form. So this is great, just takes two seconds, perfect for me because my lips have been super, super chapped and I'm so addicted to using this and it really, it works like really, really well. I don't remember the exact price, but it would, knowing Elf, it is not going to be more than $3. I have a feeling because, um... Their line that they have in the black packaging is usually their higher end stuff and so this probably was three bucks. It's only three bucks. It's totally worth it. It works great. Smells great. Tastes great. Like obviously don't eat this stuff but like when you uh, rinse your mouth you know it has like the brown sugar flavor still on your mouth. Speaking of dehydration, my skin, as you guys may have heard in my other beauty videos, have been has been extremely dried out and I've had several issues with flakiness on my forehead. Um, usually I have combination skin, but this winter just like moving into this apartment and everything being electric heat and it being so cold and such a harsh winter is really taking an effect on my skin and I know that I've been completely like kind of revamping my skin care that I have and I was looking for like a deep moisturizer like night cream because before I would just use like a regular daily moisturizer on my face after I washed it and went to bed and it was fine because like I said I have combination skin so usually if I use like a light moisturizer it's enough if I use anything heavier I would be super oily in the morning so anyways I have this Neutrogena deep moisture night cream and this, let me tell you, night creams are a little on the expensive side, even for the drugstore, you run into creams that are like 30 bucks. This was only, I think it was uh, 11 or $12. So basically I used this once because I couldn't wait to use it and it was extremely moisturizing. My face felt super hydrating and it wasn't greasy or oily when I woke up the next day. So I'm interested to keep using this and see how it goes. So far, so good. And again, that was the Neutrogena Deep Moisture Night Cream. Something else basic. I got face wipes. Um, before I was getting the Yes 2 brand and then now I switched over to Simple Sensitive Skin cleaning facial wipes. This was the buy two. I already opened the one packet because I really needed it. So yeah, just nothing really to say about that. And, and now Bath and Body Works because who cannot have enough of Bath and Body Works? I know I can't. Anyways, I can't remember if I had a birthday coupon or if it was just a generalized coupon. Either way, I had like I think it was like 20 or 30 percent off and like uh, another one for free items so I had to go and they were having a sale on their candles so I got two summery scents. The first one I'm in love with. I love more of like the natural nature smells so this is Island Waters and it is lush green palm leaves a hint of fresh bamboo. It seriously smells like you are at a waterfall and it's uh, oh my gosh it's just so light and refreshing. It's not overpowering. It's just like the perfect light fresh scent. I've been burning this already. And then the second candle that I got is more of a fruity stuff is pineapple palm grass. Again it has like a little bit of more of the natural scent to it. And this is inspired by the beautiful pineapple fields and exotic green foliage of the Hawaiian Islands. And this is like, I love pineapple. It's my favorite fruit. I love eating it. I love the smell of it. And again, with this having the palm grass in it, so it's not that intense and strong of a overly heavy pineapple scent. Because I like fruity scents too, but they tend to be a little bit too overpowering for me. So this is like a calm down pineapple scent. So if you like fruity stuff, but not so intense, I highly recommend this pineapple palm grass. 
I haven't burned it yet, but it smells super good in the candle. And then I got a free travel item, so I just got velvet sugar body lotion to carry with me in my purse. And then my mom got me a candle for my birthday from Yankee Candle. And this does not have a description of the scent like Bath and Body Works does. But basically it's Bahama Breeze. Just like a island tropical fruity scent. And this is a little bit more on the overpowering side for my taste, but it will still be good to burn for a little bit. It will still put like a nice scent in the air of my apartment. And that is that. And this is the end of part one of the haul because it was so big. I was not about to put up such a long video. So if you want to see the clothing and then one accessory item, go and check out part two. It will be up very soon and when it's posted the link will be down below make sure you're subscribed so you know when part two comes out and i will see you guys in the next video